caught thieving will be hanged. Hey guys, Dr. Havoc here, bringing you a video review this week over the game Thief. I reviewed it on the Xbox One. I'm here to give you my unbiased opinion whether this game fucking blows or is a pretty decent game. Now, right here is what you'll see as soon as you put in the disc, after you get your little update, of course, too, if you're on Xbox Live. I uh, really do not like this when they ask you for your email to register the game, but it is what it is. You play as Garrett, the master thief of the city, and who apparently does not like to show his chin. So the game basically is just revolving around a storyline where your friend, or whatever she is, loses her life Garrett, at the beginning. And the game is basically Garrett, about you trying to figure out the mystery of what happened that night, and you wake up a year later after the events of that night, and you need to piece together what happened and try to save the city at the same time from the misery that has apparently gotten way, way worse than the shitty situation it once was a year ago. You do have a home base in this game, of course, and a sort of a secret hideout in the clock tower unbeknownst to the city folk, aka your bat cave. Here you get to store uh, lootable special collectible items, uh, such as pieces of artwork, pieces of jewelry, and plaques that you gather around the city. You can also store weapons and gear that you're not using at the moment. City grows Throughout sick. your journey, you will gather allies that can help it you in various you ways. In Some time. can sell you items if to you help you through listen. missions, and then there is one particular ally that can help you with your special Careful. abilities and improving them. Also note that some allies can actually give you side missions to work on as well. Now the cool thing about this game, it actually gives you a choice to choose how you're going to go about these missions. Here I actually chose to take a lethal approach for the objective. Now, I'll let you know right now, it went to shit. So I suggest most people that are watching this highly, highly take in account that you should probably be doing everything on a stealthy approach. Now the AI in this game is very subpar, here it, it doesn't take much effort to get away from any ally in really any situation unless you're getting ganged up by on by like three or more guards. Very easy to take them down, very easy to lose them. Here I get fucked over because I'm stuck in an animation. Now let's see how it works on my second try taking a stealthy approach. All my years in the watch. Don't think I ever met the Baron. There. Jumping jack o lanterns. Batman didn't that go a fuck ton smoother. Another cool feature about this game is the takedown feature. Let's watch. <gasps> There are puzzles in the game as well. They're not very complicated and there's not very many of them in the game, but they do offer a little treat once in a great while. Nobles never miss it. The game is more of a semi-linear game than anything else I could call it. It is linear, but it offers you two to three pathways you can choose to go about your mission objectives. Now there are a lot of things to loot in the game, which makes it really fun. You'll always find stuff to loot. It depends on what skill level you choose too. I chose to go on the hardest difficulty and I suggest that to anyone that really wants to have the game to be a challenge towards them. It's easier to take down people or easier to find lootable items uh, if you go on the easier normal difficulty. 
Now I cannot stress this enough, there will be a lot and a lot of loading screens in this game. Uh, every time you need to go somewhere or you try to break into some place like right now, you have to go through a loading screen. Right here, they're going to cover the loading by doing an X button over the level and trick you into thinking that you're doing something while it's actually loading the other side of the map. Now I will admit, the loading times are not that atrocious. It's only around 10 seconds on average that it takes to load. Now Thief does a good job of making the user stay observant to their surroundings and their environment. Uh, you can find hidden switches to find lootable items or find hidden pathways to help you in missions as well. You know Gary, he likes playing a little grab ass. Now to the weapons in the game. Uh, there's a good variety of weapons you can use in the game to go about accomplishing your missions. Uh, you start off with the blackjack in your hand. You can use those for physical combat. You need to get up close and personal. Uh, you also have ranged weapons with your bow and arrow. A lot of variety of arrows to use. There's a water arrow, fire arrow, uh, rope arrow, a couple other ones. Uh, there's also a flashbang that you can use in the game. And there's also a couple other gadgets you can use to help you in your quest for heating, uh, such as the lockpick, wire cutters, fuse traps, and then you also have a screwdriver. Now if you're a player trying to find an experience of an action-based game, Thief is probably not going to be the game for you. This game is very quiet, you're always being stealthy, it's sort of like a blend of Dishonored and sort of a medieval Splinter Cell kind of game. Not paid enough coin for this shit. Now this is not to say there will not be action moments in the game, but they are very far and few between that exist in this game. Now one of the negatives about Thief, it doesn't matter which console you get it on, that you're going to experience frame rate dropping periodically, not all the time, but it will happen, especially when you're running and making sharp turns while running. Now the graphics in the game are actually pretty good. Uh, it's actually going to be a really dark atmosphere, of course, for the game, since you're always going to be going out at night. But there are really good lighting effects, smoking effects throughout the game as well. Spoiler alert, just letting y'all know, there are wife beaters in this game, transgender men in this game, and monsters in this game, and a bonus, naked women in this game as well. All in all, if you're looking for a game where you can be stealthy and still shit all the time, then this game is for you. Thief does have its problems at times with technical aspects, but if you can look past those, this game may be worth your time. Out of a Dr. Havoc rating out of a 1 to 10 scale, I would give it a 6. You get sprung.